Hi, welcome back to my channel. Let's get to cooking. Hey, Raw family. Yes, Mrs. O is back. A long awaited promise. You guys, Mrs. O have been through hell and back. But I came out victorious. Oh, yeah. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I want to thank all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And I want to thank all of my ride or die subscribers who have stuck in here with me through my long awaited absence. But anyway, you guys, uh, I don't know if you guys know this um, man named Les Barbecue. He always call his oxtails. Uh, he smoke them in their candy red. They look so, so delicious. So today, I'm going to do for me. Yes, we are going to start our fall recipes. So this week, uh, I will be doing a fall recipe. And of course, it's going to be dessert. But today, I'm going to do an oxtail stew. So I want you guys to come along, join me, as I teach you how to make an oxtail stew. All right. Let's get this train on the track and let's get busy. Okay, here are our ingredients. I have like a pound of oxtails and try to trim some of the fat off of it, you know, so you won't have so much grease uh, in your stew. So this is about a pound. Also to my stew, I'm going to add, here are my seasonings. I will have them in the description box below of everything I used. I know it's garlic pot, I'm sorry, onion salt, lorry seasoned salt, paprika, dry mustard, black pepper, and I think that's it. And for me, this is a good tip, you guys. Always mix your seasoning together. That way you will have an even distribution on your food. I always think it works great. Here, I have chopped fresh garlic. I have two white potatoes. I have an onion. I have carrots. I have bay leaves. I have beef stock, the unsalted. I have low sodium soy sauce. And also you guys, I forgot the sweet peas. Yes, I'm telling you, the sweet peas in the stew is extremely good. All right? So I'm going to heat up this pan. We're going to sear our oxtails. We don't want to sear them on high because we don't want them to burn. But we're going to sear them, season them first, sear them, and then they're going to have to cook for about two, two and a half hours. Now, if you have an instant pot, by all means, use your Instant Pot. I personally just don't like them, but that's me. All right, let me get the oxtail seasoned and get this uh, pan on, and we'll sear these oxtails. Let's go ahead and put our oxtails in this pot. I know you're going to say, wow, this pot looks little for all of these oxtails, but I am going to take one of these oxtails and reserve it for another dish that I'm gonna to have to bring you guys that I think you will love. All right, make sure you season all sides, front, back, side, side, all right? All right, let's put them in. You hear that? And this is, uh, I'm gonna say a tablespoon of garlic infused olive oil olive oil all right so we put these down this down now we have the little bitty ones let's just get them in here
Okay, let them sear until they're brown on one side. Turn them over, get them brown on the other side, and we're even going to brown the side. Be right back. Okay, these are nice and brown. What I'm going to do is add just a little of the olive oil in. And I'm going to saute the garlic. You don't even have to remove your meat, okay? Let's just put this in here for a moment and stir it around. And after we do this for about a minute, the garlic smells amazing. We're not adding any vegetables. Remember, this has to cook for about two and a half hours. Okay, I'm getting the aroma of the garlic. So now, what I'm going to do, you don't ever want to burn garlic, okay? We're gonna add the chicken broth. We're going to fill it all the way to the top. By the way, this is a chicken stock. Now you can put this in the oven if you like. I know sometimes uh, the oven makes your house a little hot. And to this broth, we're going to add two bay leaves. Then we're going to cover this baby. Now while this is cooking, you can go ahead and cut up your onion, your potatoes, and I bought many peeled carrots. But these bay leaves are kind of broke, so let me just put a few in here. Yeah, they're a little stuffed. That's a big one right there. There's another big one. Stick it in the broth. And cover it up. I will see you all in a bit once they're tender. So cut your vegetables up. Go take a break. If you have an instant pot, you don't have that long. But I'm going to cook them nice and slow. After about one hour, of your cooking time if you're doing it this way. Now, if you're doing it instant pot, I'm not quite for sure how long it would take your oxtails to get done, but I would do it probably 10 minutes before your done time. We're going to add two rosemary sprigs. Let's do one here and one here. And then we're going to add our onions. Flavor upon flavor. 20 minutes before this is done and the meat is tender, we're going to add our vegetables and potatoes. This is how you want to uh, dice your potatoes. Not real small, I'm saying just medium. And you don't have to take the skin off because this is a potato that has a very soft skin. So just cut them uh, into dices, uh, one half inch thick, if I'm saying that correctly, and then add them to your oxtails 20 minutes before it, they're completely fork tender. Here is the finished product of the oxtail stew. You must really try this. It is so, so delicious. And let me show you how tender the oxtails are. You can take it and just peel it with a fork. You see that? Just comes right off. All right, you guys, 
this is my first video since I've been missing in action, but <laughs> I promise Mrs. O will be back. I'm coming back this week and we are going to do a dessert. If you like my content, come on over to my channel. I promise you, I won't disappoint. And until we meet again, God bless you and stay safe.